All right then, my friends, so now we know how to sign into the application, let's also look at how we can sign out of the application. So then, first of all, let us go to the auth actions and let's create an action for signing out. So down here, let's export a different constant. So export const, and this one will be called sign out. And this is equal to a function. And we don't need to pass anything into this function to begin with because we don't need credentials to sign out or anything like that. But it does return a function. So this function will take in the dispatch and get state in case we need the state. And also that third object where we can destructure get Firebase from because we're going to use Firebase to log out. So this function right here, this is where we can make that request to sign out. So first of all, let's get our Firebase initialized. So a Firebase constant is equal to get Firebase. And there we go, we can use Firebase now. And we can use a method on the auth service called sign out. And that's all there is to it. We don't pass any parameters, it just signs us out of the application if we signed it. Okay, so because this is asynchronous, it might take some time, we attach a dot then method, which takes a callback function, which fires when this is complete. So when this is complete, what we could do is dispatch an action if we wanted to, to say that sign out has been a success. So dispatch, and then the action will have a type of sign out, or not sign put, sign out, success. Okay, we don't need any additional data. There's nothing really to update here. So let's just do that. Okay then, so we've created right here, this action creator. Now let's handle this action inside the auth reducer. So head on over to the auth reducer. Then we need to add to our switch case over here, a case for sign out success. So underneath this one, let's do another case. And this case will be sign out underscore success. And then this will log something to the console. First of all, console.log. And we'll just say sign out success, just so we know what's happening in the application when we're using it. This is just for our benefit as a developer. And then we're just going to return the state. We don't need to add anything or remove anything from the state. We'll just return it as is. Okay, then. So let us now go over to our logout link, which is up here. So that when we click this, we actually want to fire this action creator over here so that we can log out. So we need to dispatch that from our navbar because that's where the link is to log out. So let us now go to the navbar, which is inside the layout. And it's not inside this navbar because this is not where the link is, but it's inside our signed in links. So if we're signed into the application, eventually we're going to be able to see the logout button. So this is where we want to dispatch that action creator. So first of all, let us import that action creator up at the top. And we also want to import connect so that we can connect to Redux. So import connect first of all, and that is going to be from react hyphen Redux. And we also want to import the action creator we just created. So import sign out from, and then it's dot dot forward slash to come out of the layout folder, and then dot dot forward slash to come out of the components folder, then into store, then into actions, and then into auth actions. All right then. So let's connect at the bottom, like so, and surround signed in links. You should be getting used to this by now. And then we need to map dispatch to props so that we can dispatch this action creator right here. So let's create that const called map dispatch to props. And this is equal to a function. It takes the dispatch and then inside we return an object and attached to this object, we want a sign out function. So that is going to be equal to a function, which therefore dispatches a action creator and that is going to be this one right here sign out so let's call that now we need to pass this thing into this connect over here and then we can access now this on the props of this component now remember this is a functional component so i can't just say this dot props that doesn't work anymore instead we need to take the props in to this component now i can say props dot sign out if I wanted to. Okay, like that. But I don't just want to call it there. I only want to call it when someone clicks on this link right here. Now, 
We don't need a nav link because we're not going to anywhere else. So let's delete that. And instead, let's do an anchor tag. So A, and then we're going to attach an on click event to this. Let's close off that A tag as well. So when someone clicks this, what do I want to do? Well, that is the point. I want to associate this with props.sign out like so. We don't call it like so because that will automatically run the function when the component loads. We don't want to do that. We just want to associate this method with a click event on this anchor tag. So that should work now. When we click on this anchor tag, then it should fire this props.sign out function, which dispatches this action creator. Inside the action creator, we sign out using firebase.auth.signout. Then we dispatch an action of type sign out success. Then inside the auth reducer, if we get sign out success, we can see that logged to the console. So let's see if this works. So over here, I'm going to inspect. And if we go to the console, we should see over here that we still have a user inside Firebase. So you can see where it says auth and we still have that user right here. That means we're logged in. OK, now if I click on log out, then we should we don't, we get an error. So let's see what's going on. Um, it says, if we go to the top here, dispatch is not a function. So I think I know why that is. If we look over here, yep, we're trying to pass map dispatch to props as the first parameter inside this connect. But remember, the first one is map state to props. So we need to pass null for that first one, then map dispatch to props second. So if we save this now, we should now see this work. So currently we're signed in. We can see that right here we have that UID, but if we now try to log out, then we can see sign out success. And if we take a look at the props now in Firebase, auth is empty is now true. So now we don't have a user. We have successfully logged out of the application. So that's us logging in and out of the application. But how about keeping track of this auth status and then showing links dependent on the auth status? We'll do that in the next video.